coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez, Oh, or no? it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 214 pounds. Fighting out of Murrieta, California, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this one for the fight. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Big punch lands over the top. I'm going to follow this one. Nice leg kick lands. Single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things. 
to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Back and forth we go! Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take a minute of those kicks. Good stick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Oh, man, look at that. Pit serve, perfect. Got the legs, got the position, got another beautiful takedown. Have your shot. Throwing that jab, no good. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight for the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. And they separate. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator, not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, if you kick in the head, a lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It's horrible. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, single collar tie now. Nice head kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Right hand punch with the clinch. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick lands. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, nice right hand, John. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Now connects with a right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big power shot there. Just out of range with that strike. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Superman punch. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands flush with that right hand. Push kick there to the body. Oh, that right hand is on point. And he continues to work the body here. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Right hand punch to the clinch. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice loop of punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Checks the leg kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. You can't take many of those, you better check. Just missing on the high kick there. Big head kick lands. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Ten minutes in the books. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The match is down.
did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level pitch muscles. Big kick. Got the single collar tie. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hook to the head block. Good punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Slips. Big punch land. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Leg kick thrown. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, huge block. Oh, collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Real quick leg kick. And he switches his stance yet again. That inside leg kick already a welt on his opponent. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, single collar tie now. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, big head kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly has. Oh, no. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.